Okay, so apparently some guy on IRC has some trust issues. So I'm just gonna dunk this into the sink. Guess who it is? Um, so I'm probably gonna use this just to show you that this circuit actually works. As you can see, there is power, and it is 120 volts. So I'm gonna fill this sink up right now. So you know it's actually tap water and not some distilled water or whatever in case he has more trust issues um, I have this turn on I don't know, you can't really see that but that is indeed on and I'll plug it in still 120 volts didn't touch anything this power strip is working. It has lights on every single one. So I got this filled up. I'm just gonna drop it in here. Let it soak around. Pretty neat. Power still 120. Dropped a little, but no biggie. Probably just unstable. And um, just in case you don't believe that you cannot get electrocuted from this, I will put my hands in the water and pick this up and play with it, hold it around. There is absolutely nothing in here that can kill you. As you can see, it's still alive. In fact, I will plug this in while it's in here. Uh, there we go. And you can see it lights up. Kind of hard to tell. But, um, yeah. It's lighting up. So, you know, do whatever you want, but by the way, the reason it turns off is because it has this little ambient light sensor that just turns off. So if you block it, it turns on. If you let it go, it turns off. So that's why. And, you know, that's pretty much it. Have fun with your uh, power circuits in the pool.